right, let's move away from that and talk about a group of people who seem to have decided that the local government chairman has his day, just like Chukudi has said. Some people have their day in court, some in the hands of the public. Now, let's go over to um, Dotse Jigawa State, where the chairman of Dotse local government, Balayar Gaba, has accused the political opponent of instigating a mob against him. He, he was attacked by scores of residents in his local government area on Monday over claims that funds earmarked for the development of polling units have not been disbursed to beneficiaries several weeks later. It was reported how the residents accused Mr. Yargaba of fraud and demanded that he should authorize he should authorize the immediate disbursement of the funds, which was sent to all local government areas by the state governor, Badaru Abubakar. Now, he was on his way out when he was intercepted by the residents. He said he did not know that the funds had been paid, an explanation the residents found suspicious and consequently descended on him. They thought he's a badder in those shreds and were passing it round. You see, to get to the point where the people will be so frustrated with those in positions of authority and they will deal with these people decisively. But this is the kind of decisive uh, uh, punishment that we want. Not to, you know, by maybe mob action, beat mm. up a public office holder. It is to show the person that your policies are not popular. And on election day, because we do not find your policies popular, we are going to kick you out of government. But there is something underlying here. You would recall that you mentioned that it was as a result of the fact that there were claims that certain funds had been released. As Nigerians, we need to understand that those in government do not owe us anything. And I, I'm going to choose my words carefully. Those in government do not owe us anything. Aside from advancing our interest, representing the mandate that we have given to them, and ensuring that our lives are made better. Now, if we have a situation where we have to go to the local government chairman to demand that uh, the governor release certain funds. Mm. We want our own share. It's a problem. Now, when we talk about the dividends of democracy, it's not in the 1,500, 5,000 naira that we share to people who are extremely poor or people who cannot afford it. It is in giving the people a quality life. Mm. In social studies, we were taught the basic necessities of life, food, clothing, and shelter. If food is not readily available and we cannot purchase, if clothing is a luxury, that we cannot afford, if shelter is some sort of uh, divine uh, 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 help that we wait and we seek from God Almighty above, people go to church to give testimony or go to the mosque as, as Allah to, to give testimony that you are now a landlord. This Nigeria is the only country that God has blessed to, I don't know of other countries, with abundant human and natural resources that we look at all of these things and think it's a miracle, it's not yeah. a miracle. It did not follow the known laws of nature because you have refused to open your eyes. But unfortunately, it's really sad that we're, we're reporting stories like this because the citizens are being pushed to the wall. And Let's not return see, to... This is what they always do. They push you to the wall. And because you do not know, you're frustrated. Now, if the man orders the disbursement of these funds, people begin to jubilate. Hey, the local government chairman has given us our share. That's not what it is. Is that in the improvement of primary health care? Is that in the improvement of primary education, the markets, ensuring that there's an enabling environment for people to, you know, work and thrive. So this is what we are talking about. It's not in, uh, giving handouts. We need to ensure that. I hear in the state they are giving uh, motorcycle, commercial motorcyclists um, 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 fuel. So that on it's Saturday not just about giving boats. people fish. It's understanding that you need to teach them how to fish and create an enabling environment for the fishes no, to fish. Don't to fish. Create take an us, enabling. No, no, take us to the pond. <laughs> well, and ensure that the, the fishes in the pond are not there. So create an enabling environment for them to thrive as well. Yeah. Fish. We don't want a situation we whereby <laughs> we'll be pushed to the wall and then our lives will now return to what was described as nasty British and shot by Thomas Hobbes. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.